yeah, so this is how I scam my way into Berkeley. <laughs> JK, I didn't really scam my way into Berkeley. I worked pretty hard for this. But honestly, if you watch my last video, my college reactions video, you can tell that I was kind of surprised I've gotten to Berkeley. Um, only because, personally, I didn't think that my stats were top tier compared to the school I came from. I'm no admissions officer or whatever, but it's all fairly relative to your district. So, why me? Anyways, for everyone that's requested my stats video, here it is. I hope you enjoy. Disclaimer, disclaimer, this is not me bragging at all. This is just something that people have requested to see, like ask me about in person a lot. So I decided I'd like share. Here it goes. So first off, let's do SAT scores and standardized testing. I took the SAT and the ACT and personally, my SAT score was just a little bit better than my ACT score. So I decided to turn that one in. But if you're curious as to what my ACT score was, it was a 31. And my SAT score, I took it three times. And the first time I got a 1370, second time I got a 1460, and the third time I was like, let's take it again, you know, 1450. Third time I took it, my score decreased. I was like, okay, whatever. These are pretty good scores, but my like goal score was a 1500. And for me personally, like I was like, if I want a chance at Berkeley, I need to get a 1500. Like that, that was the number in my head. It was like implanted by my parents. Like you need to get a 1500. So I was like, very disappointed in myself. But my super score was actually a 1490, but UCs don't super score, so I just turned in my 1460. I did take SAT subject tests, which are recommended, they're not required or anything, but I took the SAT Math Level 2 and SAT Bio um, M. For my Math Level 2, I'm so embarrassed, this is so bad. I got a 580, okay? 580. Five it's not good, it's not good. And for my bio M, I got a 660. So just like a moment of silence. I don't even know why I turned them in. They're so bad. Like, oh my God, Ooh, no. So those are my scores. Okay, so as far as my GPA goes, my weighted GPA was a 4.2 and my unweighted was like a 3.9. Wasn't too impressive, I think, cause I didn't take that many APs to be honest with you. And I really didn't get all A's or anything. So I don't you know what I think I have my um, UC application with me right now because I'm that extra and I'm literally just going to walk through what I have on it. Freshman year, I got a B. That was the most traumatizing moment of my life because I told myself, 8th grade Trey, I told herself, You're not going to get any B's in high school. You're going to be a straight A student just like you were in middle school, you know. B's are going to be far away from you. <laughs> Um, I told myself I was never gonna get a B and wow I was not ready for high school because I got a handful of B's and senior year is kind of Irrelevant because I'm doing really badly right now. Like, please don't rescind my um, acceptance AP testing wise I only submitted two AP tests, which was AP bio and AP lang AP lang I got a three and AP bio I got a four. So here are my ECs so for my volunteer and community service section I did CSF, which is like California Scholarship Federation. It's like a volunteer organization. And I did that for all four years of high school. I also did Key Club, which is another community service oriented club, which I did for four years. I kids tennis camp. Oh, I just said the name of my school, Rip. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. But it's basically a summer camp where I teach kids in our community how to play tennis. I also volunteered at a hospital freaking names I can't say I can't do this um I don't think I'm supposed to like I think that's like scary what if you guys find out where I live I volunteered at a senior living center for so long like I went every single week work experience I listed tutoring which I do tutor kids from middle school through high school words and honors that I got so I did get honor guard which was basically top 20 kids in our class 10 girls and 10 boys that quote, exhibit excellence in academics, involvement, and leadership in our school community. So I know I listed that as an award and I also listed that I got first place at FCCLA regionals and it's basically family, consumer, and career leaders of America something future. They had like a speech competition and I won, but the T is I was also the only person there. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> the other girl that was supposed to go against me didn't show up, so I was like, automatic first place, which is fine. My extracurricular activities included the tennis team, which I played on for four years. I was the FCCLA hospitality chair. 
I was the branch ambassador for Lucky Love, which is a nonprofit organization that I'm a part of. I was a senior class officer for my student government. So yeah, those are all my ECs. And I don't know if you guys want me to go over my essays, but yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, hi. Those are the stats you guys have been requesting. Hope you like this video. Subscribe if you want more quality content. I don't know. Also college decision wise, I still don't know where I'm going and um, that'll be a video and it'll be coming up soon too.